Hey, everyone, what's up? It's been a little while, right? It's about time for us to start learning how to use our recorders. All right, so here is the recorder that I will be playing with today. Here's some basic technique. Um, first of all, when you're using your recorder, you want to make sure that you're blowing into it very softly. Okay, so in order to make a good sound, you have to blow into it softly. All right, so I'm just going to give you a little example of, of how to blow into the recorder to, to get a decent sound. Okay, so just a little short example. All right, now, if you blow into it too hard, this is what it sounds like. We don't, we don't really want that sound, okay? So what you want to do is, first of all, learn how to blow into the recorder at the right, with the right amount of pressure, okay? So maybe the first time you play it, you might blow it too hard and that's okay. Try it again by letting less air come through, all right? So, so do that, try that a couple times and uh, pause the video, try that a couple times and come back. All right, now that you're back, all right, so the first note that you'll be learning is the note B, all right? So how you play B? Well, first of all, the recorder has holes on it. When you blow into the recorder, the air flows through the instrument. In order to change the pitch of the instrument, you change how the air flows, which changes how the instrument vibrates and how it makes the sound, okay? So when you change, you change the airflow by covering holes. When you cover holes, the air flows either, either the instrument vibrates either faster or slower based upon how much pressure it is, it is um, retaining through you covering up holes, okay? So you blow through the instrument and you cover the holes in order to make different sounds. So the more holes you cover, the lower the sound, okay? Um, the less holes you cover, the higher the sound. That's how it works. So in order to play B, first of all, for most of our notes, we're going to have our thumb covering the back of the recorder. So this back hole on the back, the one that's by itself on the other side, that hole is gonna be covered with your thumb. So go ahead and cover that with your thumb and then your index finger, you're gonna use this finger to cover the top hole. So thumb on the back, index finger on the front, and that's how you play B. And B sounds like this. Okay, so that is B. And then the next note, you just put your middle finger down on that second hole right there. You see that? Middle finger goes right there. And that is A. Okay, and then your ring finger, as you can see, I'm wearing my ring. That's why it's called the ring finger, right? It goes on the third hole. There we go. And that note is called G. Okay, so this is it. It goes. Those are the three notes that we'll be playing for our first song. All right. Now, guys, you can practice playing those three notes until you got them sounding well. And then I'll teach you how to play our first song, which is right here, all right? So if you can see this, go ahead and pause the video and, and practice playing those notes for a little bit, all right? Now, if you can see this here, okay, we have a song that is in four, four time, right? So we have four beats per measure. Measure is the distance between these bar lines, right? So, so how do we get, um, letters to be notes. So what I've done for you is I've, I've, I've made a little system for you. So when the note is underlined, that means it's like a half note and a half note gets two beats. Okay. So what do I mean by a half note? A half note is a little bit longer than a quarter note. You guys have learned quarter note and how you say ta when you are playing your quarter notes. We have some down here. This would be ta, 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 ta. 
right? So the half note would be ta. So there's two beats. So this is what a quarter note would sound like playing B. Listen. Okay, so that's how long it lasts. Okay, so that was one beat. So listen. Now, the, the next time I play the B, it's going to last for two beats. Okay, this is going to be your half note or your underlined note, which is the first one. It goes. Okay. Two beats. Two beats. Okay. So the first note we have here, which is B, we play B for two beats. Okay. Then we play A for two beats. And then if there's a box around the letter, then we play it for four beats. Okay. So we have B, A, G, B, A, G, 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 A, 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 B, A, G. Okay? And that is your first song. That is Hot Cross Buns. So it really sounds like this. Okay, so that is how it sounds. Now, let me play the recording for you. Go ahead and pause the video and you can practice playing these notes here that you see. I'm going to play the recording and I'm going to follow along with the notes pointing at them so you can see exactly how it's supposed to sound and which sound or pitch you're supposed to play at the right time. Okay, listen. Okay, so in that recording, they actually play three half notes. So they go one, two, one, two, one, two. But I want you to go one, two, three, four. Okay, just so you know that. All right, so that is how it sounds. Are you getting it? Are you getting it? Are you practicing hard? I hope you are. Guys, make sure that you're, you're pausing the video and really practicing and trying to get this. All right, all right, it'll, it'll do you well. All right, so once again, it is B, A, G. Okay, now I'm going to play it with the recording. And I want you to look at my fingers and see what my fingers are doing so that you can play it as well. All right, watch my fingers. Ready? So this is B. That's it. All right, so go ahead and practice that. Practice that for a while until you get it, okay? You need to pause it where you can see the uh, the letters, okay? I'll go ahead and bring the computer up, the, the camera up a little closer for you so that you can see the letters. Maybe you pause it on there so that you can um, go ahead and check those out. Give me a second here. I'm gonna bring it over here. Hopefully it'll focus. There we go. Okay, so there are your letters. All right, so remember, these are half notes. This is a whole note. Half notes, whole note, and then quarter notes, quarter notes, 
half notes and then end it with a whole note okay all right guys so go ahead and pause it right here so you can practice all right hey guys we have lots of songs that we're going to play and i'm still going to teach you guys um how to sing as well all right hope you guys are doing well hope you're staying safe and hope to see you soon all right later